Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and we have finally taken the full Sea of Rune, and we are starting to make some decent cash. Of course, that's going to go down a little bit as we've recruited some very nice uh, troops to uh, man our armies as well before we head into Mordor. But there is the uh, sort of scariness of a uh, Rune full stack somewhere waiting to attack us so <laughs> i don't know where that'll be and i don't know what's gonna happen but <laughs> i'm hoping you know they don't completely just run over us uh and kill norway that would be terrible because norway has been such a glorious glorious commander this whole way through um so yeah <laughs> you know this uh the campaign's going pretty well but it might take a backwards uh step in the next couple of episodes if that massive full stack just decides to roll through us from wherever it's going to roll through. So, <laughs> let's see. But we are at the end of a turn. So let's end the turn and then we might even see that, that uh, scary full stack somewhere um, <laughs> today. But, you know, the campaign's been going very nicely. Very, very nicely. Um, you know, at this rate, we're probably going to get done by episode 15, honestly. I can't see it taking a huge amount more time than that. Maybe 20 episodes? I normally try and aim for 30, but if we've taken out Rune and we've taken out Mordor, there's not much else we can really do at that point, you know? Uh, apart from destroy the ring, but I'm not too bothered about that. If we take out Mordor, we take out Mordor, don't we? So, um, that's good. We are going to fight against Dol Gador, though, however, and expand into the west slightly, expand our influence down the Kelduin and then into the, the forest, into the forest of Mirkwood. But apart from that, yeah, we uh, we just need to go and kill Mordor, which we're going to try and do. Uh, we need a big fat army for that to start with, though. And you know, we we you know, fighting Mordor is pretty much just a uh, a, a war of attrition, a big war of attrition, really, isn't it? And you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave Emmerhalf because I think that big army surely must be around the two remaining settlements they have. We can see pretty much everywhere else, so it's not around Lest or Mistrand unless it's out here, which I don't know why it would be in the Runic Hills rather than in the actual in Gathod, um, the Runic Plains. Yeah, I, I don't think it's around here, so I'm gonna take the risk to go and retrain all of these boys. We'll leave the Rovanian Riders there because they can't get retrained, of course. I think most of these boys can actually get retrained in Strondost. If I'm right. Could go for the Thorn. If I build the Thorn Armory now, it's going to take them. How long is it going to take them to get to Strondost? Why are they stuck? What's happened? <laughs> well, hopefully they'll be able to move, you know, next... Uh, Next, uh, next turn. Because <laughs> that would be a bit annoying if they couldn't. Uh, these boys in Strondos will join Captain Thane. And he will join Enmahath army. And then, you know... We'll probably... Yeah, there's... Not too much more we want to do. I mean, we have this army as well. So we'll get them off. They can go and join the Enmahath army as well. So we've got... We'll probably have two pretty nice armies. Right, with this longship... Ah. We got beaten. Oh, no. Oh, well. Good job we didn't have any troops on there then. <laughs> ah, but anyway, it's it's fine. Um, Right. Captain Harwin, you can keep coming to Norway. I'm a bit scared now. Like, if we don't take out these little armies. I'm going to just auto-resolve these because they're, they're just tiny little battles, aren't they? Oh, look how many little battles they have. Oof, that was... Yeah, I probably should have fought that one. Huh. Let's auto-resolve that. Yeah, 48. Okay. I think it was worth doing that. You know, those three battles would not have been worth you guys seeing. Oh. Okay, they've got some low gam rim in here. So what I'm thinking is, if we just get all those mercenaries, I think we'll be fine. And we're just going to have to siege it down. That's literally what we're going to have to do. Build okay, the watchtower there. We can. Then let's just build one here just to cover that little section. Uh, and then let's go up into the north for the rest of it. 
Uh, yeah, you boys, it's really helpful if you can join within another turn, because this army is getting so close, and both of those armies together is going to be a tough, tough ask. Although these guys are pretty trash, they'll add a little bit, you know, a little bit of oomph. Not a huge amount, but a little bit, <laughs> nonetheless. And a little bit might be all we need. And you boys, so what we'll do, you three, you don't need to go down to the east. You need to come down to meet Norway so that that army can just carry on its march west. Uh, really helpful if we had some roads in Austin Airy, wouldn't it? So I'm going to queue those in right now. Um, yeah, that will make everything a lot faster. If we could get paved roads everywhere. 5,000 gold though, so we need to start getting some mason's halls around a few different places. Elgair. Let's see now, can we move you? We can. So I want you to go up to Rhubar, and I want you to leave Rhubar when we've when we've swapped them around. Good. Well, I think we're in a good position. So let's uh, press end turn, hopefully. And hopefully we don't get attacked by a massive full stack that's randomly somewhere. If we do, we'll do a fast, we'll do a long retreat. Rather than a, you know, a slower, uh, a small retreat. We'll do a long retreat that I'll probably just, you know, cut out. But, yeah. Glorious, glorious, glorious campaign so far. You know, we're not hugely rich, but we haven't needed to be. Because we've just kept up the pressure on Rune so much. That it really doesn't matter about being, you know, really, really wealthy right now. We've got enough armies. We've got enough men. And we're going to do some damage to whoever we come against, come across, no matter who they are. Even that big full stack, if we can, you know, destroy them, I think we'll be, uh, we'll be in a great position. Destroying them might be quite hard, though, depending on <laughs> where they are. I, I haven't seen them yet, so I don't know. And, and it, they haven't moved. We haven't seen them at all. So, yeah, we'll have to go and try and find them. You keep coming down. Oh, didn't like that, did it? There it is. Right. That's interesting then. So we can join our troops from Enmahath together. You guys can go up to Strondos, like we've said. You guys keep coming down. So we can join Avalyn in here with Forthwind. I'm hoping they don't go. That might have been a bit silly going there. But like I say, I'll have to do a, a, a far retreat. And, you know, they can go and siege down Mataram. That's fine. I'm not bothered about that at all. We're not building in Mataram. So, don't think that's going to make a difference. Um, and we can come up here. Just got to be wary of that goddamn guy. Right. So, it's, they're not in the... Uh, they're not in the west. So, that's good. So, if I assaulted... Yeah, that's... It's not going to work, is it? We have to take a, We have to take a field battle... Do we have enough men for a field battle, though? That's the question. Because we don't have that many men, do we? I don't think we do, you know. But we can't move anywhere now anyway. So we might have to do a long retreat there as well. Uh, let's get a trading post at Mistrand. Get that money up. A long ship in Karasant. Yes, good. Where is my other ship? Oh, they've been blocked off. Well, what I think we do, we'll double team them. That should win. Average defeat. Are you kidding me? Well, I despise you. Blocking my trade, you fools. <laughs> you bastards. Blocking all my trade. <laughs> right. These guys can join this army. So we've got some nice big fat stacks coming in now. I mean, if we could have got into Mataram to defend it before they attack, that would be fantastic. And we could just destroy them outside the wall. So if they don't attack it next turn, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go into Mataram. And we'll wait at Emmerhath for actual proper armies. And then Norway is just going to have to, you know, either hold out. But he's definitely going to get attacked next turn. So we'll probably do a long retreat. Ah, hello, Dolgador. Nice to see you not. 
Hmm, who do we have? We have a general in Alarnin, which might actually be able to hold these guys off. But <laughs> that's not great. We'll have to recruit a couple of troops in Santanwi then next turn. Ah, ah well. Right, let's end the turn. I think we're where we want to be. Get that troop in Rubar, and then we'll have to move the other boys, won't we? Um, yeah. So, whew, that big army was at Mataram, which... A little bit scary. A little bit scary. But I don't think... Oh, they did. They came and attacked us. Oh. That is an army, isn't it? Well... I think we do I think we do a long retreat guys so I will see you after that. I know it's a bit gamey but I don't know why there isn't an option here to do the long retreat. Like small retreat, long retreat option. So you can choose. That would be so much better. But yeah, I'll do that and I'll cut it out. So I'll see you after that guys. Here we are guys and we actually retreated into Mataram which is fine. Now this is a battle that we might want to take. Privateer Cavalry. We've got three Ravanian Riders. We've got not really many missile troops. We do have Moriquendi Sentinels, though. Oh, the Loke Gamprim, though, and the Loke Flagrim will be quite a scary prospect. The Loke Rim Bodyguard. It's whether we can face... I think what we do is just a small retreat here because they're not going to bring the army out of the... Uh, out of the settlement. So what we do is small retreat. And then they might come. Oh, they're going to go and attack them anyway. That's quite funny. Why? I mean, those guys are obviously going to retreat. And they're going to lose. <laughs> they're going to die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, they survived somehow. And now they're attacking Viltor. Okay, so. You know. Rune has been... Not a huge issue up until now. And now that they're on the depth, the the doorstep of death, they seem like a lot harder to deal with, which is a bit weird. So, I don't know. And then Dolgador has come and attacked us, so we do need to really, you know, speed up a little bit fighting Dolgador. Uh, which will be fine. Which will be fine. So, I think the army in Mataram now will definitely be enough to... Okay, Dolgador expands. Good. Good for them. Anyway, not good for us. Let's see, do we have any Faroon mercenaries available here? No, but we do have some mercenaries. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to spend all our money this turn to, to recruit them. Because no matter what, this is going to be quite a bloody battle if they go after Mataram. Which I think they will. Uh, which is fine. Mission failed to talk to the remnants of Angmar. I don't care. Uh, Dwarven Friend for Avalyn, which is cool. Nice. Good. Uh, we built communal farming up there. End of turn report. And then, yeah, settlement besieged. Settlement besieged and war. What is in their army, though? That's what I want to know. It's not a very big, so I'm assuming this is the only big unit that they have in there. I, I you know, I think Knut can do a job, though. I, I I'm not holding my you know, I'm not holding my breath that he will win, but I don't think it will be too bad. Right then, well, you know, we are starting to really struggle a little bit now. But now they've spread out. Now we can actually attack this army, then that army, then siege that down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hide in the trees. Can you hide? There we are, good. He will probably still attack us. Which will be a bit annoying. But oh well. So let's uh, get Norway there. So Norway's going to fight there. I'm just hoping this army doesn't go after Enmahath. That would be quite annoying. And these guys are going to come down to Enmahath. And we're going to have pretty much a stack and a half at least of men. But we'll see how many we have after the Battle of Mataram. If they go for Mataram of course. They might not go for it. But they, they probably will. Uh, you got moved, so let's have a look. 
They've actually got a couple of troops in Dur Gruzum. Orc fighters, orc hunters, and orc band. Morgul rats. Lots of Morgul. Oh, is that what you want? Not really. I don't want to fight you, but... You know, Mordor is not fun to fight, is it? So, let's, uh... Let's fight this battle. Get Norway back in action. And we shall see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. I'm hoping, you know... Uh, they'll probably go for the highest point. So, they'll probably go over here. But that's fine. We've got plenty of cav. We've got plenty of infantry. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we've got Thorn Guard. Yeah, take them off there. And we'll have our archers in the front. And where are they actually? Oh, they're down here. Nice. Cool. Get you boys forward. Get you boys there. And we'll get a cav around here as well. Don't think they've got any cav. I know they do. A little bit. I think it's the Dragon Riders. The Dragon Riders have a really, really good charge, but not much else. So what we really want to be doing is targeting the Logrim Bodyguard. So both of you fire at that Logrim Bodyguard. Get rid of that as much as possible. And then we'll speed it up. And I don't think... They're still firing at it. Even though they don't know where it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to make... The Mori Quendi Sentinels the only ones who can really do a bit of a dint in them. And them being in the trees does not help. So, what I think we do is we come forward again. And then spread our infantry out a little bit more. And we'll bring our cavalry round on the left flank to deal with their cavalry. And when we're in here, we'll try and actually fire... At the guy at the back. The actual bodyguard. So he gets a bit of pounding as well. Like I say, the problem is the trees. They don't have shields though. That's always good. But they got a lot of armor. So getting through that armor is quite problematic. Right, these guys can stay here, actually, to, to draw the fire. I'm not bothered if we lose many Vineyard Bowmen. Not a good unit. <laughs> but we've seen how much damage they can actually do. You know, overall. They can actually do quite a bit. But let's get the Moriquendi Sentinels firing away as much as possible. I can't wait till we rec can recruit them. But honestly, we might finish the campaign before we can even recruit these boys. <laughs> We're going so quickly at the minute. Ah, uh, the Mori Quendi Sentinel has not done a huge amount of damage. But that's fine. Right, you guys can get out now. And we'll, uh, we'll bring our infantry forward. It's hard to, it's just hard to see in the, in the trees. I wish they would come out of the trees. Fuck off with the trees, bro. I can't see anything in there. <laughs> get you boys. Get around to here. And we will use Norway... You know, with the light of Elbereth and all that sort of thing. I can't see them. This is the problem, bro. I mean, honestly, I'm just thinking about just going, like... Just just everyone run through the woods. Go for a little run through the woods, huh? You get the Daratai clansmen. You guys get into the spearmen. We get you here. You guys fight the bodyguard. That's going to be a bit hard for you. But we're going to use Norway. Okay, we've got Swordbusters around this flank as well. You get around that flank. So where's Norway? What I want you to do is come around here. And then cavalry-wise... Not the greatest cavalry versus theirs. Oh, it's Privateer cavalry, not uh, Dragon Riders. So I think we'll be okay. They're all a really good cavalry unit. But if we get a nice charge off, we should be fine. Now we just cannot see what's going on. <laughs> Have to get down and dirty. Right. Get you guys around here. Thorn guys, get your spear wall on now. The sword masters should have a nice little charge into the back here. Did we get a good charge off? Looks like we kind of did. Right. Now we need to get out there. Bodyguards coming. Uh, sword masters... Where are you? Yeah, get into that Rovanian Spearman. Go, charge, guys. Come on. 
That's not the best charge I've ever seen. Yeah, we ain't fighting that bodyguard as well as the cavalry. Because privateer cavalry is already really good. So, just spread out a little bit. And then when we're ready, we can get the Moriquendi Sentinels into the bodyguard. Unless they go for a charge before then. Which looks like what is what they're doing. So, go for that. Uh, let's. I've forgotten. Are these guys bonus against cavalry? They have. Ah. I was just going to see whether we could just, like, charge through them. But not going to make a difference, is it? Here come the Moriquendi Sentinels. Good. Nice, boys. Why are the Privateer Axemen struggling so much? Probably because of that charge. Light of Elbereth. Let's go. These guys have got the nice formation now. Fantastic. We've fully surrounded this side. This side's just doomed. It's just the other side that's a problem. And the Lokrim bodyguard, of course. Uh, if we can charge them while they're running away, that'd be fantastic. Let's see. If they turn, we'll have to click quickly. But at the minute, we look okay. Nice. Nice. And they've not even stopped yet. Didn't kill that many men, though, did it? We can get over there. That'd be great. Then we'll charge the rest of the Privateer Cavalry. So they can't do anything. Okay. The, the Axemen have broken these boys. Swordmasters get into that bodyguard, I'd say. You boys across here. You boys there. You boys. Yeah, you two. I'm going to have to chase down that bodyguard. Now, where are these guys? Yes, now they're fighting their way. Oh, no, not the Privateer Cavalry charging us. It's not what we wanted, but we've got our Cavalry charging as well, so... It's a bit of a give and take there, I guess. Oh, we have just fully sandwiched those boys. Nice, let's get out. We just can't see what's going on. I can't see. I can't see. Right, come on. Infantry, get around here. Men of the Thorn. <laughs> Men of the Thorn. Right. Oh, bodyguard's gone. The bodyguard's running. What a fool. Right, let's uh, surround this bodyguard now. How many? 88%. So we just need to kill both generals and we'll be good. Oh, well, boys, kill him quickly. That's that one dead. Right. Back out over here. And then we'll give a big charge into the back of this bodyguard and hopefully destroy him. I think that's, this has been a fantastic battle, honestly. Come on, Norway. When can we use your Light of Elbereth again? Let's speed it up. All right, slow down. Right, let's go for the charge, guys. Let's get a good charge, please. Maybe not the greatest of angles, but it still should be quite a good angle. So Thorn Riders and Rovanian Riders together to destroy Rune. That is a charge. That is a fantastic, fantastic charge. I think the only thing they've got left is Privateer Cavalry now that's not routing. Oh, it is routing. Right, we've got to make sure we kill this second general, though. There he is. Dead. Now we can end the, end the battle. I think that was a great battle. Clear victory. We only lost 200. The Sentinel's doing really well. Thorn Blazeman, 133. Well done. Swordmaster, 92. Some great results again. Thorn Guard, 81. Really good. Fantastic. Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And we've actually captured two of the family members. So that's another brutal execution for Rune. Ah, oh, poor Rune. Poor, poor Rune. What can you do? What can you do, old Rune, eh? Right. Let's uh, get sieging down Varfest. And again, I don't really want to properly siege it down. You know, I don't actually want to fight this battle. I want to just, you know, siege it down. But it's seven turns. And that's such a long time. 
While they're also sieging down Vilta as well, which is 100% something we don't want to happen. Ah, ah, they've made things a bit tricky up here, haven't they? Goddamn bastards. Uh, right, let's end the turn, though. See what happens. Keep on moving down. Everyone moving down. Fantastic. So, very good. Very good indeed. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, Viltor is a bit of a problem, because if they take that, then it's just it's just annoying going and sieging them again. But unfortunately, at the minute, oh, these poor guys. So, you know, the AI knows where your troops are. So even if you put them in the random place ambushing, they still know. It's just so annoying that they do that. They're just going to attack again, as usual. You know, I could do more damage if I fought this, but it's just pointless. Could just use that unit to go and siege down that <laughs> that place up there just for a bit of jokes. To piss them off. It might stop them attacking Vilta. Right, let's actually have a look at what we have here. Dolgador Archers, Mirkwood Hunters, Dolgador Scouts, Dolgador Host. Well, you know, they, first of all, they've got to get through the gates with that ram. And they might not. So... Let's see. We, we, we might be able to win this. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. Here we are. And, you know, like I say, they've got to get through the gates first. So let's see that their gate, their ram doesn't get destroyed. Because it might get destroyed. Hope. I mean, it would be better if you actually hit the ram, bro. With those arrows. Not tending to hit it very often, are you? It's not burnt. It's not burnt. What if we did this quickly? Attack him. That'll stop him holding the ram for a second. Destroy the ram. Now get out. And hopefully... You know, whoever's left there is fine. Let him die. Let him die. Oh, no. They are starting to come through now. Ah, oh, a bit of a mistake there, then. But, you know, none of their archers are going to be able to fire. They'll still be getting fired at by our... Uh, by our towers. We've just got to try and make sure that the High Paladins don't, you know, uh, don't rout. They're still getting fired up by the towers, like we see. Uh, I just don't think we've got quite enough, have we? So everything went really swimmingly at the start, and now we're starting to crumble a little bit. You know, we've got it. We've concentrated a lot of forces down the south, which is fine, but as we can see, it's not quite working. In terms of fighting Dolgador and fighting Rune's last two settlements. Um, so I think we need to get some troops up in the north now. Can't rely on Norway just doing everything, can we? We did manage to get one of them shaken then. If we could get one of them to rout, we might win. But no, they've come back to being steady now. They're in a bit of a better position though now defensively. So rally the men before you die. <laughs> Canute. And yeah, I don't think we're going to get anyone to rout. But how many did we kill? We killed 40% of their army. So we probably needed a couple of other units to defend against this army. Dolgador doesn't have the greatest troops, but it's enough to beat one general unit. And that's us going to rout now, isn't it? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, we killed a lot, didn't we? But wasn't quite enough. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And Ilanin has fallen, unfortunately. Very frustrating. But luckily, it won't take us much to get it back. Maybe a couple of elves. Maybe a general. And I think that'll be... You know, that'll be it. It'll be taken back. So... Oh, God. This episode, you know... Started off all right. Oh, just a bit troubling now with all these fools coming in and attacking us. Goddamn gold Dolgador. So annoying. Um, they haven't even taken that, that middle settlement. Orthanc is under siege. Oh, my God. The good people are definitely winning very, very well in this. Yeah, we'll try and get a uh, trade agreement with Lothlorien. What are you going to give us for it? Trade rights, my friends. We have elves here as well, so... Yes, good. 
I'll give you map information if you give us some cash. How about like a thousand? Thousand! Yes, they've accepted. Good, good. When it loads like that, you know they've accepted. Fantastic. So what did we get for that? 300 florins from the Merchant's Guild. <laughs> oh, thank you. Great. <laughs> Santam, we got the Royal Hall. So we now can get the Avari Armory. And get the Mori Quendi. Only takes four turns to build as well. Glorious. Wintirian Yara now has a port. So that should help with the cash. Should also probably get roads everywhere that we can. But first things first. Yeah, Knut has died. Let's see what we can what we can grab here. Um, you know, I'm thinking those. Only three turns and two turns until we can get some elves. Uh, how about at Karasant? Oh, there's not much to recruit there, is there? Hmm. Okay, right then. Run! <laughs> Run! And I think if they attack this army, we'll take our chances in fighting them, but... If they want to siege down Enmahalf, be my guest, bro. <laughs> be my guest. Right, let's leave Mataram. Build that watchtower. And uh, we'll join our forces. And we shall fight. Against that massive stack. And that'll be pretty much rune done at that point, won't it? Yes. I'm wondering why they're not attacking us down here. Let's go and have a have a crack at Dorthaloo with his 18-man regiment just for just for a laugh. Oh, it is so annoying that they're attacking Viltor. I don't think we're gonna be able to destroy them, but you know, we can try. We can try. Um Well, like I say, we need to recruit some more men. Get a bit more armies. Well, this army, if that goes to Santamui, we can get everyone retrained, hopefully. Ah, two more turns to get there. This then could form the basis of our army that we take up into the north against Dolgador. That would probably be a good idea. We do need a general, though. We could take Vine Lord Swain. I think he just has high paladins. Yeah, but he's got a lot of them, hasn't he? 77. And then uh, Karasant. Got this army. He's also just high paladin. So taking Vine Lord Swain isn't isn't great because obviously he's making cash. But we could get rid of Store at Carverad and take him across to Santamui if we wanted. Uh, yeah, Viltor's a bit of a problem. And like I say, I'm not going to siege down Varfest. I want one of one of these armies, not two of them, to come and attack us. Um, so, yeah. I think that army that was there will have range to come and attack us. And I think we take our chances if they do. I think the settlement is just like round there somewhere. Well, we can see Durz, Durz Garum. So let's end the turn. Got a few guys moving everywhere, which is fine. Hmm. I mean, we could send that general to Dorthalu, and they probably would be able to siege it down. Especially if he could recruit some mercenaries, but yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so fourth win has been attacked. Like I say, it is a really good army. But we also do have a pretty boss army here. We can't actually retreat. We can't retreat. So we've got to fight it. So this is the uh, the stand of Fourthwin and Edwardin against Mukalku. What's his general? Just standard Lokrim bodyguard. In terms of the you know the the people we're we're looking at here, the the Lok in Asrim are so good. The Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen are also really good. But we do have our own Vitna Court Knights. Our own Bogard. And a lot of Javis to throw at the enemy as well. I think it's just whoever wins the cavalry battle here is going to win. So we need to be careful to make sure we win it. Because our cavalry is quite damaged here. And Rovanian Riders are, are no match for Loke Inas Rim or Dragon Riders. So 
This is going to be close. This is going to be painful. But hopefully, we'll have enough. We shall see. So I'll see you on the battle map. Hopefully, it gives us a nice cliff or something. <laughs> so in terms of the map, it's quite a big hill here. Hmm. I don't like fighting in the forest, though, of course, as we've seen. <laughs> you just can't see. And it's not a dense forest, so that's quite good. All right, let's group everyone up. So you guys are going to be, like, just in front of the lines to take the first, you know, arrows, javies, whatever. Then what we're going to do, we're going to have you hunters behind the lines to fire javies into the enemy, of course. Now, in terms of the line... Ideally, you know, the Swordmaster's on the flank. I don't think we can be, uh, you can just get at the front. Too picky, because we don't have much infantry. So, you boys, probably in the middle here. Swordmaster's in the middle? Not, that's not really a great option. So, you boys, and same with the Axemen. We want, ideally want you two right in the middle. To hold the middle line. Get the cell swords in here as well. The privateer axemen on this flank. So let's uh, let's get these guys grouped up. Group. And then the sword masters can go here. And then we'll get our axemen here to come around the flank. Because they are a really nice armor piercing unit. So is that everyone apart from the cavalry? I think so. The Vintner Court Knights are so good that... I'm hoping we can just beat the enemy. Um, it's a bit annoying that Edwardin doesn't have special uh, special abilities, but it's fine. And then we'll get our crossbowmen here as well. So, yeah. They should be attacking us, so let's speed it up. And see what they want to do. I'm hoping they don't try and flank us or anything, and they just come head on. And we just go mano o oh mano, mano o oh mano. Straight into the fight. Hmm. You know, I might get these guys a little bit further forward to start with. Just so they're in range for firing their jabbies. Because the range for them right now is just here. Which is right in front of those boys. So the crossbowmen. Ideally you want to be focusing on say the Loknarim. If they had their a special unit in here somewhere, there they are. We'd, we'd shoot at them, but they don't right now. Are they even firing? It's just They just take so long. Come on, boys. We've got all our cavalry on one side. Honestly, I'm not too bothered by that. You know, I think we've got to use our weaker cavalry a bit cleverer than they do. Ideally, I want to fire at this Dragon's Wrath Guildsman. Oh, we've killed quite a few of them straight away. Who are they firing at is the question. Uh, everyone, really. <laughs> fire at them. I'm hoping they don't just sit there and do this. Okay, we'll wait a couple more volleys. And you know, if they do, we'll go and try and scare them off. So, yeah. You guys, let's get you forward as well. You know, if they want to do that, it's up to them. But I'm not going to stand here and just take the skirmish. Why are you, like... Why are some of you running and some of you not? Run, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Your lives depend on it, boys. And we'll get our Rovanian hunters behind them here. So now we should be able to, to get into the fight. Get our Vintner Court Knights in there. Get the Spear Guard forward. Cell Swords forward as well. You can fight the Dragon Guard. Then the Rovanian hunters. We'll just get them behind. Ready to fire into the enemy. Obviously, these spearmen are gonna are gonna struggle. We can get the dragon riders there as well. 
Right, let's go after this Loke Inisrim. It's by itself. So I think we need to uh, take that opportunity while it presents itself to us. You guys should be firing at, you know, Lokrim bodyguard down there would be great. Need to keep pressing this so I know where we are in terms of, you know, who's who, etc. Right, Vintner Court Knights, get out. Actually, don't. While they're trying to run away, we'll try and kill as many as we can. Oof, this is going to be so tight. They're leaving the Dragon Riders in melee, which is not good for them. And good for us. Right, boys. Let's get back. Get out, get out. We don't want to take fight with the infantry right now. You guys should be able to fire. So get forward. Fourth wind's there. You guys fire into the Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen. If you can fire in there as well, that'd be great. I'm honestly not bothered about friendly fire here. You just need to fight those Dragon's Wrath Guildsmen. Get leadership. Dragon Guard, not who we want to, you know, not who we want to take on in a fight. So let's get away from them. These guys need to fire into the Dragons, uh, the Wrath Guilds Guard. Oof, this is going to be so, so, so close. Let's fire at them. Try and get fourth one in here as well. Kill this Loki Nasrim now. Come on, boys. This is where it's at. It's what we need to do. And you need to get around the other side. Edward in. Come on. Hurry up, my friend. You're so slow. You are getting surrounded. So we need our sword masters to come over here now. Kill the Lokinus Rim. Get, a get away, Edward in. Come on. Fucking stop stopping, you silly prick. All right, come on. Now charge them. Let's get the charge off. It was not the best of charges, but it was something. We've lost half our men already. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Fire into the enemy. You guys go fight them. Our Vitna Court Knights are just struggling really, really hard right now. These guys are fighting the Lokinas Rim. Come on, fourth win. We need you. Leadership. Get out, get out, get out. God damn it. Get out. We do not want to fight the Lok Flag Rim. Let's get over here. Come on, boys. And then I'm going to charge into the back of this Dragon Guard. Hopefully help our guys out a little bit over here. Oh, we're just getting we're just getting mauled everywhere. Like literally everywhere. Oh. Well, at least we'll have taken out a few of them. I'm hoping we can, you know... Like, can anyone retreat? No one can retreat. So I'm hoping Edwardin will retreat before he dies. <laughs> uh, guys, come on. Into the Dragon Guard. These guys. Let's go. Fuck the Loke Flag Rim. They don't matter. What matters is us fighting these guys up here. Come on. This is just brutal. This is brutal. This is a really good army. And they got it all for free, the silly bastards. Ugh, oh, come on. Get out. That's the one thing we have left is a few cavalry. <laughs> Everything else we're just we're just screwed for. We're just screwed. We're fucking screwed, bro. Ugh, oh, this was just too good an army, unfortunately, for us to deal with. Okay, get a good charge. Where is their general? That would really help. I don't know. Probably here. No, that's the Dragon's Wrath Guildsman. Where is their actual general? Um, I don't know. That's one of the bodyguards. Let's go for a charge on the left-hand side of them. That'll actually be quite nice if we could get a kill in one. Oh, Edwardin is down to 29 men. Brutal. Brutal. Oh! We killed him in one. Nice. Nice. That's really good. 
That's going to help us out. It's not going to, you know, make us survive, but <laughs> it's going to help out a little bit. If we can get into the Dara Tire. If we can get like a chain route going, that'd be fantastic. Last play of the dice with leadership. Come on, guys. You charge so terribly sometimes. Now out, boys. Now out. Oh, we're just getting shredded by everything. Shredded, I tell you. Hmm. That Loke Flagrim will just not leave us alone. Just leave us the fuck alone, bro. <laughs> leave us alone! <laughs> Thing is, if this was a siege battle, we'd 100% we'd win. But it's not, is it? It's definitely not. Let's get into the Daratai Hunters. They should not be a... Uh... Too hard to break, hopefully. Hopefully with the knights, the paladins. Come on, this has got to be a really good charge. Oh, it was a great charge. Unfortunately, not enough to make them run. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we've done so much damage. 61% of them dead. But it's just not going to be enough. Losing Edward in is going to be painful. Such a good general. Such a good general. Out, boys. Out. Come on. Oh, this is it. I need fourth win to run away. I need fourth win to run away, ideally. And I need Edward in to run away. So let's get into, like, a scary unit. Like the Loke Flag Rim. And speed it up. I wish we could withdraw. We just can't. Will you run, Edward in? Please, run. You too, fourth win. Run, Edward in. Run before you die. So that's fourth win. Okay, what about Edward in? Edward in's running. No, Edward in just died just before it clicked. What if they've both been captured, though? Oh, that was brutal. Paladins did well, the knights did well, but it just wasn't enough, was it? It just wasn't enough. Oh, God. I'll see you on the campaign map. Oh, here we are. And we've been offered a ransom for Forthwin and Edwardin. That is a lifeline we have to accept. Oh, God. That was just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal battle. Oh, let's have a look at what they have. They have some Loke Gamprim. We've got a lot of cavalry and some Loke Flagrim as well. <sighs> They're just better troops than ours, aren't they? They're just better troops. But I think, guys, <laughs> where did Edward in go to anyway? Edward in and Fourth Wind go to anyway? There. Surely they can't just attack us again. That would be a bit harsh, wouldn't it? I think if they join up with Avalyn... We take Avalyn and avenge the thousands of dead that died in that battle. But what we're going to do, we're going to end the episode here, guys. I'm pretty exhausted after that battle. God damn, that was pretty exhausting. I'm glad both our guys got captured. That was a, that was a lifeline that we had to accept. Um, so I'll end the episode here, guys. And uh, I will see you all again on the next video.